We're going to be doing a simple watercolor painting today of a tropical beach scene. I start off with making the horizon and then I'm going to use my pencil and just make a couple lines for the palm trees. It's very light because we're not going to be erasing any of this. Then I'm going to very roughly put in some of the rocks that are going out into the water. You can do this dark or light. I tend to do it very lightly because I'm not going to erase. And then that curved line, which is going to show where the beach is. Using my large brush, my half inch flat brush, I'm going to do a wash for the sky. So I'm getting my paper wet, just doing back and forth strokes above that horizon line. I'm putting in a little bit of washed out purple, just all over. Just moving it around, a little bit of the purple. It's not going to show that much when the painting's actually done. Then I'm bringing in a little bit of light blue. Again, we're using the Reeves 12 color palette for our watercolors and the other palette that has turquoise in it. So two inexpensive palettes. Any beginner without making a big investment can get these paints. So I'm just moving the blue and purple around just to give it a little bit of a background. Not very dark, just an impression of a little bit, maybe cloudy. Now I've got the turquoise that was in the other palette and I'm going to put in right across the horizon line very carefully with the side of my brush. I'm going across, that's where the ocean is and I'm going back and forth sideways, not making it solid, leaving a little bit of space there where there might be some reflection or some waves. Coming back again, getting a little more color. Now I've got a little green because it's turquoise and green. I'm just moving the paint around within that area that I said was like the beach. It goes around the rocks. And now I got some dark blue that I'm putting a little bit so it's darker up there on the horizon. And just a few strokes throughout, just showing the differences in the color. When the sun hits the water, there's all the different colors. Now I'm using some brown and I'm doing these short little strokes to show the texture of the trunk of the palm tree. Now I had a little bit extra water there so I'm blotting it because I don't want this to bleed. So I'm getting this brown, a little bit of brown, a little bit of rust again on the reeves and I'm making these like little half circles and I can curve it because we know palm trees are all different curve shapes, a little bit narrower as it gets to the top. They have a larger trunk base. Going over it again, you want to leave a little bit of white there. And I just keep following it up on that line that I drew originally. Palm trees can even be curved and very small at the top. So I've got my texture of my palm tree trunks. That was very simple. Now using some dark blue with a little brown, I'm just making some haphazard strokes to show some of those rocks that are at the base. You can just move your big brush different angles to put them in. And I'm using a little bit of that just to show a little more of the dark horizon, but I want to go over that because that was a little too brown there. So I'm just cleaning it up just a bit. So in those dark colors, I'm using a combination of the dark blue and the brown. I never use black but just dark blue and brown. Now we're getting some green and we're putting in some bushes that are behind the palms. You can just kind of push it around with your large brush. Some more green right there at the base. We're gonna eventually put a few flowers on here. For now, we're just putting in the bushes. Just kind of push the paint around. We've got that dark green. It's not that dark now, but we have the dark green. And now I'm using a little light green on the outside area, so it's a little bit lighter there. A little more of the light green. Gives our impression of some bushes there. A little light green in the foreground, maybe a little grass. I'm going to now turn to my number four round brush, which is for more detail. Now at the very top of the palm, I'm going to come out on these lines that are going to be the branches. 
and I'm putting them on the palm tree in the rear and the one in the front. You can make these, however, just don't make it so that they all come from the center. They have to be overlapping to make it a little more realistic. So I'm just putting these branches. They all start at the top of the palm tree, but it does get to be very thick and a lot of branches that kind of overlap. So that's my basic shape of my branches. I can add some more later if I choose to. I use the dark green in order to put those branches in. Now I'm going to get a little bit of brown. I want to show an island in the distance. So I'm just taking a little bit of brown and putting in very carefully this island that's out on the horizon. In the tropics, we have a lot of times where there's not only the main island, but there's a lot of other islands that are surrounding it. So I just put a little island in there on the horizon. Now I'm gonna put in some sand. I'm getting some of my ochre color, a little bit of rust, and I'm just liberally putting it down. Let it go right into the blue because the water's so shallow that you can kind of see the sand under the water. I'm getting a little more, maybe a little darker, a little more of that ochre color and just moving it around. Put a little brown on it and you can get a little darker where the water comes in. Making sure I have enough water on my brush. Now I'm just trying to blend it. Whenever you want to blend your colors, just get a little more water on your brush without the paint and move through the colors that you already have down on your paper. I'm back to my little number four round brush. Now to put in all of the palm fronds, you're going to make quick strokes starting at the base of the branch and just come out. Now you can do this with different types of brushes. I'll show you how we use the big brush in just a few moments. But this way you get a very fine line for each one of the branches and we're gonna come back in and put other colors on top. We're starting out with some light green. We're gonna be doing a lot of different tones in these branches as they always have. But I'm getting the light green, making sure I have enough water and enough color on my brush. And just these simple strokes coming down from the branch itself. Putting a little bit darker there in the one in the back. I'm using a variation of my dark green, my light green. There we go again with some of the darker green coming out. And just be rather free with this. Just let your brush start from the center and just flick it out and you'll get all of these branches. There's a lot of different ways you can actually paint palm branches. This is just one of them. And again, coming in, doing all of those different leaves. There they are coming down. You know, the reason palm trees are near water the way you see it in so many tropical islands is because the coconuts float with the currents and they wash up on the beaches and then when the conditions are right and there's enough water in the coconut, it sprouts and you have your palm tree. And that's why we see so many coconut palms all over tropical islands. So again, I'm putting in more of that regular green. That's a darker green. I'm putting a little bit here, since I have it on my brush, I'm adding a little bit in the foreground and in those bushes that I have behind the palms. There's also a lot of rocks you'll find on tropical islands. Now I got a little bit of um, the dark green with a little bit of the blue to give me a darker color. And now I'm going over and putting that in different places. Notice how we're getting these different tones in the palm branches. We don't wanna make it one color. You have to have your dark, your light. You've gotta give it that tonality. So I've got my dark blue and my dark green on my small brush. Again, those short strokes. And I'm just putting them around. There's no absolute right way to do this. Your palms, I'm sure, will look quite different than mine. You might have your branches at a different way. And we just continue with that. I'm leaving a little bit of light in the center of the palm because I'm going to be putting in a little bit of coconuts there. Now I'm going back to my big brush. I said there was a different way of doing these palms. So I've got some green on it and I'm using my big brush, not much water, 
and I can use this to put in some bigger areas of the palm that I told you we could do. It just doesn't give you that fineness that the small brush does. But that was with a half inch brush. Again, that was with the dark um, green. Now that's what I said, I put the coconuts in, a little bit of that um, ochre color, and I'm putting the coconuts right up there at the top of the trunk, and also that ochre on the branches. As the palm leaves get older, they get a little bit brown, especially toward the tips. So we want to show that again, shows different tones in the branches themselves. We don't want them all one color. So this is the ochre color. That's similar to the same color we used in our sand. Never want to isolate colors, we move them around. Now I'm going to put a little bit on the palm trunk. I'm coming in on the right side, which is a little bit lighter, and a little bit on my back tree. There we go, just a little bit, showing some of that texture on the trunks of the palm tree. Now I wanna show shadows, so I got, again, my dark brown and my dark blue, and I'm putting it on the underside of the palm and I'm gonna also show it on the other palm, on the underside. So we know the light would have come from the right side and the shadow is on the left. Using my small round number four. You could also use a number six and the very top of the tree too and the base, I'm making that a little darker as well. And now um, on my rocks, I need to show a little bit more contrast on the shape of the rocks so just making different shapes, rough, plain shapes on those rocks. This again, my dark blue, my dark brown. And now I've got some of the rust color, a little bit of that up in the palm tree. And we're making this very colorful. Tropical islands are known for being absolutely beautiful with the colors of the palm trees, the colors of the water, the sand. That's why so many people love to paint them. And after this, you'll be able to make your painting yourself. Another dark blue, a little more contrast in the leaves. And I made the top of the trunk a little darker because it's got more shade because of all those branches. Just a little more of the shadow on the underside. And since I have that color on my brush, just putting a little more on that island that's in the distance. Just a little bit with our small brush. Now that horizon, I wanna make it a little bit darker. So I have my turquoise I used for the color and a little bit of blue. And now I'm just making a few very scattered lines just to show a little bit of ripple. The wind's always blowing over the water. There's always a little bit of reflection, a little bit of ripple, and I'm bringing in a little bit more blue in the foreground, which is where the water came in around the rocks, but it's so shallow that you don't really see it being very blue, and it goes right over the sand. So that should be pretty washed out in the front so that you see more of the sand than you do the blue. I'm taking that same purple, but at a, a deeper value that we put in the sky and I'm just scattering a few flowers that would be in those bushes around the palms. Just give a little more emphasis and balance to the whole picture. And a little bit of that dark blue, dark brown, a little more shadow. Now I'm gonna come in with um, the dark green and a blue to get that background bushes a little bit darker. So that's with the dark green and a little dark blue in it. Now this is gonna be a, something you can add to it. I'm using some white acrylic paint. You noticed where I put those ripples on the water? Well, if those were little waves, I'm gonna show the white crest. So with my big brush, I put just a little bit of white acrylic on it. The darker your paint, the more the white will show up. It's not showing up a whole lot on here, but I am putting a little bit of white on there 
as if the the waves have broken a bit. And yeah, just about a little bit here and there and a little bit on the water as it's coming into the beach. If I had made it a little darker, it would have stood out a little more, but I'm just adding a little bit. This gives it a final touch. So I've got my white water a bit there. I just wanted, I decided I'm gonna make a little more detail on those coconuts that are up in the tree. So with my dark brown and dark blue, I'm putting a little more detail and a little shadow around where they would be up in the top of the palm tree and bring it down. Did you know that people, more people are killed by coconuts each year than sharks? <laughs> a coconut falling on your head is um, <laughs> not the greatest experience. And people have died from it. They become very dangerous during those tropical storms, those hurricanes. So again, with that dark blue and the dark brown, I'm just coming around and putting a little bit of detail on the rocks, finishing up a little bit on the edge of the palm tree, the bottom of my island in the back. A little bit more up there on my coconuts. And, uh, you know, I think it's looking pretty good. Just a little more touch here. You always want to add more. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'm sure you'll be able to do a beautiful painting after you see this video. Thanks for watching.